Hello guys and thanks for watching the third tutorial of this series about Samsung Smart TV applications development. My name is Konstantin and I am part of the tvappsdevelopment.com team. The previous tutorial was focused on setting up the development tools and running a sample application. In this tutorial we will talk about the project file structure of the sample application which we run in the previous tutorial. We will also see how it actually works. So here is the application from the previous tutorial and now we will switch back to Eclipse. When we expand the, the project, the project file structure, we see uh, JavaScript resources, some folders and some files. If we start from the bottom, we see a uh, file called index.html. Um, actually, Samsung Smart TV applications are HTML, CSS and JavaScript based applications. So, if you are good at web applications development, it will be easier for you to develop applications for Samsung Smart TVs. This is the, the content of this uh, HTML file. We see the standard HTML tags for, for an HTML file and we also include a JavaScript file. That's all about this index.html file and we'll continue with the next one. It is config XML file. Here we see some, some configurations, some information about the, uh, the icon of the application. Uh, some information about the author, um, the name of the application and description and so on and so on. We'll go back later uh, to explain more about this um, configuration file. The next one is app.json file. Uh, it is all another uh, configuration file and uh, we will also talk about it uh, later. If you continue, we will see a folder um, called XML with uh, three XML files. Um, I, will, um, I will talk about them later. Uh, we have images folder uh, which consists of uh, uh, images uh, related to, to this application. We have an icon folder uh, consists of uh, four uh, images uh, with different sizes. Uh, basically this is the application uh, applications icon uh, and the last but not least we have an app folder which has uh, another uh, folders HTMLs with two HTML files, scenes folder with two JavaScript files, cascading style sheets folder with two files contents and main, and we have controller JavaScript file and init uh, JS another JavaScript file. If, if we double click on the init.js file and take a closer look uh, at the content of this uh, file we'll see that actually this is um, somehow an, an entry point of uh, the application because we have a function called onStart uh, which uh, make some um, initializations. Um, basically, uh, it wrote a JavaScript file, um, controller.js, and then call the method um, of the controller uh, named initialize. Uh, with an exp 
importing parameter uh, JSON JSON um, formatted uh, string. Uh, these are the three categories. It seems that these are the three categories of uh, the uh, application. We can see it here. We have corporate, corporate, exhibition, and product. And here we have again corporate, exhibition, and product. Um, these are the names of the categories. And uh, as an URL parameter, uh, we have uh, the uh, XML file uh, destination. Uh, which means that uh, um, when we click over a particular um, category uh, on the left uh, sidebar, uh, it automatically loads the content from, from these uh, three files which are located here and each file contains uh, some predefined uh, items which are the, the news uh, which is consisting of a title and, and a description. And yeah, that's pretty much about the uh, pr project files structure and also um, about the um, the entry point and the initialization uh, method. Uh, maybe we also need to uh, to talk about more the controller.js file and what we actually do here. Uh, we'll just take a look at the initialize method and also on the uh, start method. In the initialize we only uh, append uh, the three categories to, um, to an array and uh, in the start method uh, we show the first um, let's say screen code uh, main and also uh, parse the XML content of the first category um, in order to uh, to load the uh, the items uh, which consist in this particular um, XML file uh, called category uh, one. So that's pretty much about this uh, tutorial guys and uh, we'll see you in the next one. You can also find more video tutorials on tvappsdevelopment.com and yeah, thanks for watching.